Welcome to Mobile Medical Media's video review of the interscaling approach to regional anesthesia of the brachial plexus. This module reviews how to perform an interscaling brachial plexus nerve block using ultrasound. Brachial plexus nerve blocks are commonly used in order to achieve regional anesthesia of the upper extremity. Their success often obviates the need for general anesthesia and decreases the need for intravenous analgesia. A 72-year-old man presents to the orthopedic surgery service with an obvious deformity of his right shoulder after falling down a flight of stairs in his board and care home. He has a history of congestive heart failure, severe aortic stenosis, and emphysema. Radiographs demonstrate an anterior shoulder dislocation without an associated fracture. He has signs of volume overload and is tachycardic with a pulse of 112. You decide this patient is ASA class 4 and that regional anesthesia would be preferable to deep sedation. Ultrasonographic identification of the brachial plexus in the interscaling region is accomplished by placing a high frequency linear transducer along the lateral aspect of the neck. The probe should be held in a slightly oblique transverse angle superficial to the clavicular head of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, approximately at the level of the cricoid cartilage. Landmarks include the sternocleidomastoid muscle superficially and the internal jugular vein and carotid artery medially. Deep to the sternocleidomastoid muscle should lie the anterior and middle scalene muscles. The brachial plexus is seen as a cluster of hypoechoic nodules located in the interscalene groove between the anterior and middle scalene muscles. Position the patient supine with the head facing away from the side to be blocked. Place the linear transducer transversely on the lateral aspect of the neck, superficial to the clavicular head of the sternocleidomastoid muscle at the level of the cricoid cartilage. When the brachial plexus has been identified in the interscaling groove, a superficial skin wheel is raised with local anesthetic at the lateral border of the linear transducer. A 22 gauge 50 millimeter insulated block needle is then inserted at the skin wheel and directed in parallel with the long axis of the linear transducer. Using real-time ultrasound guidance, the needle is directed to the periphery of the nerve structures. Nerve stimulation can be employed to confirm needle placement. Local anesthetic solution is injected around the nerve structures in increments. When the interscalene brachial plexus block is performed correctly, a characteristic spread of local anesthetic is observed. This spread starts centrally and separates the individual roots and trunks of the brachial plexus as the anesthetic is injected. In this medically complex patient with an anterior shoulder dislocation, ultrasound-guided interscaling block is performed using a mixed solution of 20 milliliters of 2% lidocaine with epinephrine and 20 milliliters of 0.5% bupivacaine. A full motor and sensory block is achieved within 25 minutes and the patient undergoes an uncomplicated closed reduction of his shoulder dislocation. He is discharged within two hours after his presentation. Ultrasound guidance for brachial plexus blockade via the interscaling approach is a rapid, safe, and effective means of achieving upper extremity anesthesia. A characteristic spread of local anesthetic which separates the roots or trunks of the brachial plexus is observed within the interscaling groove when the procedure is performed correctly.